another day, another Squaller Box Unboxing. Uh, Squaller Box Unboxings are just like my fave time of the month. I love them. I just get a little bit of excitement every time I see the box that's been posted. It's just like a little, a little treat every single month. A surprise. I love it. But to start off, hello. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope everyone is having a great day, night, weekend, whenever it is you are watching this. So back to the box, uh, that print is absolutely gorgeous, so cute, absolutely love it. It makes me think that I know what this box is going to be. Um, that looks quite a bit like watercolour, that pad, the scene looks like watercolour. And then this is watercolour paper. So I'm going to assume it's watercolour, which I will be more than happy about. Love watercolour. I find watercolour is really good for sketches and I also find it's good for detailed final pieces as well. I just I just love it. So, Grand Reveal, watercolour. Um, I was actually really happy with this as well because I own these watercolours, a, a bigger palette, but I am coming to the end of some of the colours and having, you know, the main colours again in a smaller travel friendly size was very exciting for me. Um, and then here they've also given a Fab Five Faber Castell pen, a pencil, and then this little rubber, uh, a very slim, slender rubber that will come in handy for me. I also lose rubbers all the time, so I'm very happy every time I receive one. <laughs> so just opening up the watercolours, and it comes with this little brush, which is real. It slides out you put it back together and you've got yourself a little travel watercolor brush as well so i really enjoyed that um and then yeah the colors are on the back and i think in these watercolors as well if you pick up the actual watercolor out of the the plastic container it, it says it on the bottom of the watercolors as well because once you take off the the packaging of the watercolors you can't see what color it is anymore but i'm pretty sure it's on the bottom um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to use these. I love these watercolours. I also just love the packaging of these watercolours. I don't know why. There's just something really aesthetic to me about like the curve of the watercolours and how they all fit in neatly in the little white box. I just love it. Um, so I actually dug out an old sketch I had for this. I had drawn this ages ago and then never got around to painting it. Um, so I thought it would be perfect to try out for this i'm also trying to get better at painting people so it was a good excuse for me to to give it a go i didn't swatch individually all these colors just as i do already have them um but i do swatch before i actually go into my painting just to check that i've got the right color the right mix i was surprised how good this brush was for being just a little travel brush um, it actually held quite a lot of water and it, it really helped spread the paint quite easily. Um, brushes is one of those things that I'm learning that a good brush can make the difference. It's it's not always just about the paint. The paper and the brush can make a huge difference and I am definitely learning that now. Also, side note, I really wish space buns would come back in because I never wore them when they were in fashion. And they're so cute and I don't know why I didn't. And I, I would love to rock a pair of space buns now, but I don't know whether that would make me look old fashioned. <laughs> Though I wear eyeshadow, which I've heard is old fashioned. So the millennial in me is coming out. Uh, yes, yeah, so I decided just to add a bit of pink and blush to the cheeks and the nose. I love making like a pink nose. I even do it with my own makeup. I just love it. And then I'll usually always use the same color that I use for blush as like a base colour of the lips as well, just to try and tie that in together.
I was um, really tempted to buy some watercolour skin tone uh, palettes. Um, but after watching a couple reviews and stuff on YouTube, a lot were just saying to learn to mix your own. And that, that way you'll get a, a bigger variety, a wider depth with the colours. And also just how important it is to learn to, to mix your own school skin colours and to understand colour theory, things like that. So that's what I'm trying here. I mean, this palette has like a really good base to start off with. It's not like I'm just starting with the primary colours. Um, but it's definitely still something I'm, I'm struggling with and trying to learn. So here I'm just going into the background. I just wanted to do like a simple uh, gradient background. Backgrounds are not my strong point. I have just uh, started this. It's like the squash, squash community. She's, I, I don't actually even know if she's on YouTube, but she's an artist I found on Instagram um, who I just absolutely love her style. Oh no, she does. She does have, it's Ruth Wilshaw on YouTube and she does have some tutorials. So I joined her gouache community and she does like paintings and it's all scenery and stuff. And I thought that would help me from just, painting one subject and that's it so i followed one of the tutorials and it was really good so yeah i've joined the community i'll be painting more hopefully that will help me with my my backgrounds maybe i'll be able to paint some more interesting things soon let's find <laughs> find out in a couple of weeks but back to these supplies i mean i love the watercolors i was always going to love the watercolors like i said i have a bigger version of this palette um they're just they're just really nice watercolors i don't think these are like professional quality but they're definitely good quality i don't know whether they may be like student grade um the brush was really good i was not expecting the brush to be as good as it was if i'm honest i always have this thing that brushes that come with palettes might be a bit like brushes that come with makeup palettes <laughs> but no this was really good um and like I said, yeah, it held loads of water and it blended really nicely. So I really enjoyed this brush. I also um, just love the fact that you can just bring it, put it in your bag and you've got it there with you. I did, though, swap out, as you can see, to a bigger brush just for the hair. Just because it would, just would have taken too long to use the the little one for absolutely everything. Um, I don't know. I didn't look whether the brush in the kit is synthetic or not. Um, most of the brushes I use... I think pretty much all of them are synthetic. So I don't, I don't know whether that one was. That's something I'll have to check. So this, I would say, is where the painting is going through its ugly phase. Um, which is something I'm, I'm really trying to get used to seeing. And to remind myself that you just you have to keep going. You have to add your details, your extra shadows and highlights. And then it, it all comes together within like the last 10 minutes. But this is where I have the tendency to... To just stop and call it a day, uh, which is definitely something I'm working on, something I will force myself to get better at. I have to admit, I didn't really know what I was doing with the clothes, so uh, I just used the green because I was going to do her eyes green. Um, th there's nothing fancy about these clothes. <laughs> a bit of blending, a slight gradient. The, the clothes weren't the main bit of the painting, so I have to admit, I didn't spend too much time on it. Um, yeah, I was more trying to, to be honest, it's the, the skin tone, the skin, that's what I was focusing on the most in this painting. Um, but I did want to give a bit more detail to the hair and the shadows there. Nothing massively rendered. Uh, to be honest, I don't... For my style, super rendered hair doesn't really fit, let alone have the skill to do so anyway. Um, but I, I like more the 
slight, slight, slight gradients, you know, just some shadows, highlights, but nothing, nothing super fancy. For once, though, I've drawn a girl with brown hair. For some reason, my go-to hair colour in a girl is pink or blue. I hardly ever do um, natural colours. But uh, yeah, this, this actually could be my first painting with a natural hair colour. I just love I just love bright hair. <laughs> I do think adding in the the second layer of the hair is helping the painting pop a bit more. Otherwise, it's the skin tones you know are all very muted. The hair it's not that it's vibrant, but it just just give something a little bit more. Oh, you just saw some some of my hair there. And <laughs> maybe an insight as to why I like bright coloured hair. Uh, this is where I think the painting actually does come together, adding in the eyes and defining the eyes and the, the lashes and the liner. I think that really brings it together. If I remember correctly, I did go in with coloured pencils for this at the end as well. Um, I'm not sure whether I show that in this video because this video is more about what I got in the box. But I just, I always like to finish watercolours with pencils. But yeah, this is coming to the end of this box. Really, really happy with it. So just inserting now a picture of the end piece, I did go over it with pencils and yeah, I'm really happy with it. Really happy with this box. Nice surprise. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, really helps me out and I would appreciate it so much. But apart from that, have a brilliant rest of your day and see you soon. Bye.